Um Farheen, uh, it doesn't have to be an evil eye. He said he is 15, going through adolescency, and the teenage experience a lot of changes, uh, not just the hormonal changes, but perhaps also due to the peer pressure and the company, particularly at this time. There may be uh, peer pressure from the physical friends and colleagues at school or those whom he chats with uh, online, and many of us are negligent of that, and this is a very dangerous area that the parents uh, neglect. The, the computer and uh, chatting online with whom Allah knows best that parents are unaware of that. In addition to, as I said in the beginning, that uh, this is a very, very sensitive time of his life. And experiencing those changes is very normal in most cases. Very normal in most cases. You have to befriend him. You have to be very close to him. And instead of shouting and screaming and uh, cursing, uh, I'm not saying that you do that, but many parents, they feel despair and they start reacting like that. All of that is negative. Rather assuring that, alhamdulillah, he is still on the right track and he can come back uh, to his uh, regular practices. Get him involved in physical activities, in sports particularly, uh, get him involved in reading his daily sabaq or Quranic word routinely because if a person begins his day by revising his Quran or reading his sabaq daily, that will put him back on track. Make sure that when you guys get up to pray Fajr in congregation that his dad will accompany him or take him to the masjid because that will make his day. Do ruqya and uh, uh, recite the ta'weez for him uh, and have your dad do that for him and I'm saving to the end the most effective tool which is a dua constantly pray for him as we did pray for him in the beginning may Allah guide him and keep him steadfast and look in his, uh, uh, in his friendship who is new in his life amongst his friends if there is any person who is affecting him negatively, make certain that, that you uh, sever the relationship as soon as possible. Pay visits to the school on random days and discuss this with the counselor there. Say, see if the changes are happening also in the school or not. And by the way, this roundabout and changes happens to every person. It may happen to you, it may happen to us. The Prophet ﷺ used regularly to say, Oh Allah, keep my heart firm on your deen. So by making certain you have a good company, by praying on time regularly, by having a daily sabaq of the Quran, by befriending your son and making sure that he does not spend some time by himself or alone, these are all tools in addition to make dua for him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep him steadfast on his deen.